Craig Adams here for Wedding Film School and today is the first video in a new series called Wedding Highlight Review. It's where you submit one of your favorite wedding films in the comment section below. I pick the one that has the most upvotes and then I do a review the next week of that video. In essence, this is a chance for you to show off the kind of work that you do. Uh, I would love to celebrate the differences between my films, your films, and everyone else's. I did not expect over a hundred entries. You guys are crazy. But I had to pick one, and I did, from Zarkin Media, so let's do a review. Okay, music is coming up. Alright. Okay, so that logo was in HD. Um, it's interesting to start with a logo. I like it. It's unique. All right, so you got a watermark of your logo up there. Um, unless people are going to steal it, it seems, I don't know, I'm just not used to putting that there. I've had people um, link my videos as, you know, their own, but I've never had to put a watermark before. I do see people who are more... Um, well known do that before just because people steal it so if this was your first wedding I'm not sure you're benefiting too much from a watermark so I don't know if I would have it there okay so let's focus jeez uh, there's gonna be a lot of start and stop people I have a lot to talk about okay so this film is three four and a half minutes start with some nice pans of a building Okay, framing wise, I would like this to be further down, maybe? Lux? Lux deserves to be in the center of the frame, if not being able to read it. But just composition wise, like, I want to see a little bit more. Gabriel, can't believe the day is here. I knew you were special to me when I met you. Okay. So. He shot this with another person, so a two-person team, and they shot on T2Is, I believe. The music comes in pretty good, pretty well. So that sets up the location. Gabriel, can't believe the day is here. So, ah, You're there's some sharpness. So I'm the one now. really, really quick thing that I would do that would improve these, every single film you shoot from now on is to just lower that sharpness in camera so you probably have it just set on standard picture profile i would drop the sharpness because i can tell right here that pattern I pray every day for you to come. so it sounds like the audio was on camera just from what i can hear uh, they said that they had a zoom and a Countryman B3. To me, and my prayers were answered. All right, so this sequence, you know, we start with this girl, but obviously she's not the bride because she's not wearing white, so we get that. But we start with the the groom story here. Yeah, I like that. The day is here. So the transition to have him get and the bag, open it, get to the card. So he's reading the card in essence. So that makes sense story wise. This is a good hero shot. He looks like a boss using the window light. That's good. Okay, for you. Uh, we have very, very um, yellow mids and blue darks, which is a color correction choice, which works, but it, it jumps out at me a little bit. Your exposure is working so far. I digs. So this, can I move that? Yeah, let's just move it right there. Um, so this, they had two cameras on the uh card reading here so i like the angle that is coming up but this wide okay so first off hold on did anyone catch that yeah he's looking that way and now in the next shot he's looking the other way 
it's just it's weird you know it's it seems unnecessary you could even flip one of them just so that it matches but if you're cutting from that shot to that shot and they're both looking the same way it would be a jump cut so i understand if they did flip it but still you shouldn't have those two shots because they're just way too similar to each other you know so it's like on a monopod or tripod at that height of his face and then the same shot just reversed so either get a different shot you know you could have gone in for a detail close up of what he was doing with his tie or like a wide or a silhouette just uh not those two in a row you know so it looks like the i can tell that the focus is on the couch texture also because of the more pattern and because it's just not hitting his eyes so you want the focus to be right here and not here um and also so for wide it, it comes down to personal preference um it's just a little tough because you have this highlight clipping here uh you would have to you know either have him move or move the couch or do something with the light but like it would be better if you you eliminated this this uh clipping here also one thing for this secondary angle for the card reading what i like to do is um have this angle much lower i've found that like wide angles like this are just more flattering and more grand when you're like lower than the subject looking up a little bit not too exaggerated but like it's way better than looking down so like if this tripod shot was brought down a foot i think it would be better and you could also square up personal preference just like straight perpendicular lines and stuff so this is good that's a good insert insert using the good window light okay so this is the second shot for the card reading good using you know exposed for the highlights on the face which is good so like some people may think it's way too shadowed on that on this side of the face but it is good exposure the best thing that has happened to me and i'm excited to call you my husband i love you so much Pat. these are cool so these always just seem awkward to me you know it's really tough to pull off good video clips when uh the photographer is taking photos just because it's like so um this is tough and it's especially awkward when uh the groom is straight staring at the camera so he was spiking the lens so the secondary shot is good i like it tight following where this is static i like good 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 following the action smoothly you know don't get too jumpy that's a good motion that i think that's a tribe slider okay so they said that they did have a slider i don't know which one but that's definitely a push up a push push slide and then a tilt up as they go and uh the tricky part is to not see the front of the slider so they didn't so they, that's a win so this is the first time that we see bride stuff so the dress you know this is a good intro at first i wasn't sure which room it was but obviously it's the dress so it's a different room so some kind of transition between the two similar looking hotel rooms would have helped good shot good shot two slides in a row tilt down so okay <laughs> this is funny number one is that ryoko is that i am not sure that looks oddly familiar to a riot coat package um yeah i think that's a camera bag as well yeah i'm pretty sure this is film stuff so i notice it's kind of tough if you're just watching it and there's two second long clips but um okay so th these are three shots in a row a slide a slide and then a tilt down wide maybe uh, a tight i don't know it just seems like those three shots weren't different enough i don't know something about them so i hope this is the bride it has to be it's good so her makeup was you know there so it's good it's just that mix of tungsten and daylight so we have the tungsten here and then we have the daylight here and then this ah uh, is just blown out and just way too crazy so 
this isn't the best of situ like locations to um to shoot but it seems like they weren't confident enough to ask the them to move to window light or something better so you know first first wedding that's pretty good all right so we have a silhouette shot what i would love is to not see any shake or any movement so lock this down and this is like every single wedding photographer or every single wedding professional is going to run into this hotel windows are the grossest things ever holy crap always every single one always the same but that's good i like this um i would have liked to have a little more of this view so like maybe go this way and if this is the wall it seems like there was room but i'm not sure um it seems like this angle was matched with this wall so they have lots of space on this side so i you know this that's pretty cool i like that and that's gorgeous. That is good exposure, good tight shot. Not sure what they shot on this lens wise, but for a T2i, look at that. If they had the sh uh, sharpness down, you you could barely tell if this was a 5D Mark III or T2i. Honestly, most of you people. Good color, good everything. That's great. This focus is nailed on the eye. You're moving around a little bit of motion you're directing her pretty well and then that ring in the nails that's what brides want to see good it's tough it's tough with this single source uh well obviously there's tungsten lights everywhere but i would have turned these tungsten lights off completely that's the first thing that i would have done in this room um there's plenty of light coming through you know if there's one window it's tough but if there's two windows definitely use that natural light so this is cool just a little overexposed so that was a good slide you know that was a good because it's easy to just do the lateral but uh to do a lateral and then uh, a pan as you move is pretty good i would say a little overexposed I would have set the exposure for this because it seems like this is about similar to this. So to me, this could have benefited from one stop down. Good composition though. That's pretty good. The ring, t the ring slides are tough because the tighter you go for slide shots, uh, the more like the slower you have to go and the more little bumps or mess mistakes are gonna show, so. Nice. Nice detail. I think there's a little bit of stabilizer on that. Yeah. There's got to be some stabilizer on that. So look at this lens flare. Nice use of the wide angle. So this is a good example of where the wide angle shines. Literally. Ah! good see that's what you want if you have a lens flare you don't really want it to be there the whole time you either want to push uh, so that the lens flare hides or push so that you illuminate the lens flare so they hide it in this one it's pretty good um the shot is definitely overexposed though i would stop down for most outdoor stuff and especially wide it's uh the more you get more contrast so the highs are higher and the lows are lower uh, whereas like a tight shot of like of the bride with her face there isn't you know the contrast in the highs and the lows in the shot in the frame are much smaller so for this there's there's sky and shadows and all this stuff so it benefits to underexpose a little bit more than you would used to if you're shooting wide and outside because then you can always bring it up a little bit but to me this is overexposed that's a great shot though good slide and just one you know that's all you need boom so many people waste so much so much time like getting multiple exterior shots when you could just get one dope shot okay so groom waiting good you know it's it's tough to hit the exposure correctly when you're when you're outside with the direct sunlight you know you set your exposure for the skin tones but you're you're gonna have this it's just tricky you got to try to find a spot but honestly this is probably the best they had this is a bright it looks hot as hell 
I'm not sure where this is, but you got hot spots. It's tough. I would have stopped down a little bit. You can always bring it up. You know, that's one of the one of the you know most new shooters will overexpose. I like the setup shot. You know, it's not the best composition wise. I'm gonna be honest. This looks like a casket. <laughs> uh, it just uh, it just does. I don't know. It's a quick shot though. Um, yeah. So yeah, there wasn't much to do here, but what what, what might have been cool is I don't know what lens they had, but like a 7200 easily could have sniped. I would have gotten her head out of the frame. It would have helped to hide this highlight. So I would have just shot like this right here so that we see just a little more tension because we don't see her. We see her coming, walking with the flowers. Um, it would have been cool in my opinion because like this seems similar to that. So it's like build up and then reveal. Just a thought though. So this is good. Got that perpendicular wide shot. You know, you have, let's see what they cut to. So it seems like they missed that moment a little bit, but that was fine. That was quick, you know. 270 to 200s would have benefited, like th a third camera. Just overexposed composition, tighter, and just shoot wide open a little bit. It seems like you guys are a little stop down I like to see a little more depth of field you know because this is kind of in focus it seems like they're a little out of focus but then this is also kind of in focus so it's like stop down so that's a wide that's cool we just go straight to it though I would have liked to see a transition shot between these two I like this this killer move look at this it's like, watch me quit. There we go. Okay. All right, so where are they in these shots? Um, that might be her coming down, it might not. If, if this was just like a reaction shot of someone else, that's pretty smart, you know, they used it. Her coming, that's a good little reaction. Doesn't seem level to me. Good reaction, emotion. It's tough. It seems like they didn't have the zoom lenses that they needed. I love that perpendicular, nice. Just that little bit of motion though. You gotta lock down, a little bit of wiggle. Lock that shit down. It's great, hold on that. So they had the audio so we're at the two, two minutes, 18 seconds mark. We started with the audio from the groom. It seems like audio was the big thing that they were lacking. They, they kind of described that in the, in the video. So they had the groom talking at the beginning and then just music. So probably two minutes of music. I would have loved to hear some ambient that would have helped give some energy some crazy you know boom and uh more dialogue speeches whatever um so yeah we'll get to that whoa filter filter time i'm sure the bride loved it it's just intense you know that photographer so bubbles that's good you know good shot they covered it it's slow motion, so it seems like they shot it at 24p and then slowed it down with motion blur. Shoot that in 60p next. Popeyes, that's all I see. <laughs> and the cone, ah, that cone. Okay, so they got in that car and they left. I get that. Music faded out, new song comes in. So those, that seems like a jump cut. You know, it's like the car is the same size in both shots. And what is, hold on, hold the phone. I gotta stop it right at the beginning of the second clip. That drives me crazy right here, boom. 
they should have cut that out. So just right there. Now start the clip right here. That little thing drives me crazy. So so those little tweaks are the things that you're gonna find. Uh, if you finish the film, you're like, I'm done. But you go through it one more time and then you make those changes. The littlest things. To my love, I have never been so in love with someone so much as okay, I Okay, details, have. good. Every morning I wake up with you, I feel as if Ooh. everything is possible. Listen to that audio, that's adorable. So these are some good details. To my love, I have never been so in love with someone so much I feel like that mason jar is out of place. To my love. So if they could have transitioned, cut this out in some way and transitioned the other two shots, that would have been great. Like, she's finally, ta we finally get to hear her. So that's cool. I like that. Never been so in love it sounds like her card to him or, or vice versa. So much as I have but this was recorded with the card. So maybe they use the zoom at that point, but it just sounds like the audio is very distant. So there's a lot of audio sweetening and tweaking to do. Every morning I wake up with you. That's cool. I like the handheld. That's a really good natural transition right there. Okay. So I hear photographer clicks in the background of the audio. So that means they were rolling on the actual card reading, which leads me to believe that it was the camera audio because they don't, I don't think they put a mic on the bride or groom before the card reading in anticipation of their opening. Okay. So we're back to this. Look at this time jumping. Almost at the three minute mark, we're going back to the card reading. So this is great. Showing, that's beautiful. Bokeh looks great. Look at that hair though. So whenever like it's, it's that in between transition, couple shots, you know, that's a great way to bridge two stories together. So she's opening, she's crying, it's good. A little You're jerky, a little jerky, smooth it out. Each other because we made Ooh, both of our lives miserable. <laughs> Ooh, bocalicious. Bocalicious, definition. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, Fer I'm not gonna sing Fergie lyrics. Let's just look at that one more time. So wide open, pff, looks like a 50, but it's on a T2i, so maybe 35, maybe a 50. Wide open, at sunset, bokeh, slide, and focus pull. Very, very tricky. All right, hold on. I think we got some info here. Let's pause. There's the zoom. Okay, so they had the zoom. It wasn't on camera audio. I'm guessing for both. So number one, I can see the zoom. Number two, it's too far away to get good audio. Number three, there's really no good way to do that. You know, you'd either have to boom it or have some kind of Rode VideoMic Pro on top and then get up close, you know. I think a Rode VideoMic Pro directional right at her face on the camera over here would have been the best way to get that. Otherwise, you know, laver up, connect a mic into this, put it behind her, run the wire up. Her lives both miserable and incredible at the same cool. time. Cool, good uh -huh. wide. But I know where their reception is now. That's cool. Framing. Framing. Cool. Show me the other shot. Show me the other shot. Oh. If they cut to the other angle, that would have been better. So once again, I would have liked perpendicular. Maybe it would have been too similar to the other shot, so it wouldn't have worked. You know, you don't want her shots to look exactly like his shots for the card reading and gift opening. But cut to the other clip. <clears throat> Good. Emotions. Yes. All right. So that's heavy on the, on the filter. Slow motion. Okay. All right. I think that whole second shot should have been cut. The whole first shot should have been replaced with this one, and then that three-second gap where there's no music and it's just showing the clip, 
that should have been cut out. So it's like the audio fades, we see this, and then it just goes straight into this. Good. The two of them focusing on the bride and groom. Good, good bokeh. This is obviously a sunset. Now, lighting, it looks like an outdoor tent kind of ceremony, so you're lucky you have this kind of lighting. It, it kind of works. You know, there's no backlight, so it's very flat lighting, but they're illuminated enough, especially for a T2i, which isn't going to have the best ISO capabilities. Good wide, good insert. It's not bad. <laughs> nice. I like that. Good. Tighter than usual, which is, it works, because you got the action with the second person. And they're two enough, like different enough shots that it works. I would have liked to see these clips. I'm not sure what shutter speed, but like at 180th shutter speed would have been cool. Cool. I like that. Okay. So very similar. He fakes them out. I love it. Good second shot. Okay. Stabilized, but gets the action. Very tight on the faces, good. Smiles, emotion, good cut out. That's a good master shot right there. I wanna hear the speeches though. So this is where tapping into the DJ cause they have this wireless here. So it would have been super easy to record out of their system with either a quarter RCA to your quarter if you have like a zoom or if you have like on my starter package, um, Something that takes 35, so it'd be 35 to quarter or quarter to RCA to 33.5, blah. So they didn't have any lighting for this reception, but look how fucking awesome this these light bulbs are. And this crazy lens flare, that's what's gonna happen. So you obviously don't want this to cover his face, so maybe shooting lower would have helped or repositioning him. But you have, you have more headroom on this side. I would have... Mm, it works. There wasn't much room. So that's cool. I don't know what's going on here, though. I guess that's the Maid of Honor? Yeah. So this is a good reaction to show them all. I would have focused just on them, though, with this camera. Detail. Good. Good shooting into the light. So the thing with not using any lights at your reception is this. So, uh, you know, the purple. You're, the, the subject is pretty much the same exposure as the background, so this is super distracting, especially that dude. He's, I need to remain calm, but he's going to have the best photo ever. Mark my words. Cool double camera coverage the whole night. Nice use of lens flares. You get some cool lens flares from those. So we're back to this to end it. Pull, ooh, look at that. Okay, all right. I was surprised when they went back to the same shot, the same angle, but look at how cool this looks. These crazy lens flares show up, boom, boom. And then they just go crazy with the filter. Big text. Not my style. Everyone has their style as far as the text, so I would go smaller with the text and more legible. I can barely read that. Just personal preference. Lots of lens flares. Info. Ah, I would personally get rid of that. Just keep it classy and then have that info linked in the description of your video so people can actually link it and go. Like, how many people are going to pause the video, like, copy that to... You know, it's, it just seems like that belongs in the description. So if you want to submit your film to be reviewed next week, post it in the comments section below. And the video with the most upvotes are the ones that I'm going to check out to review. So make sure to share it around and get people interested and get those upvotes. Um, until next time, thank you so much. See ya.